Thanks a lot for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on Nigerian newspapers this morning. We begin with Blueprint. And uh, the big story there is on the redesigned Naira notes by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Well, th uh, those new notes are to be circulated today, Blueprint says. It adds that Senate wants Apex Bank to adjust withdrawal limits. New currency will increase accessibility and use of banks, that's according to experts, while withdrawal limits unrealistic, injurious to people's well-being. That's another perspective there. Leadership is next, still on the CBN's cash withdrawal limits. 25 days to January takeoff. Senate wants policy reviewed. Circulation of new Naira notes kicks off today. To the punch now, banks reconfigure ATMs and new Naira enter circulation today with bank officials complaining of small allocations from the CBN. And the CBN governor, Emil Fili, is to appear before the House of Representatives at this Thursday over the recently announced withdrawal limit. Finally with me is This Nigeria saying senators kick as Red Chamber OK's cash withdrawal limits confirm CBN's deputy governor's appointments for second term. Veronica. To the first news newspaper now. Kudirat, Abiola's children drag federal government to ECOWAS court seek $10 million compensation. Sue government over failure to protect their mother. Challenge violation of fundamental human rights to life and dignity of human person of uh, the late Mrs. Abiola. You find all the details on the front page of the first news newspaper. We move now to the front page of uh, the Daily Independent. It says the uh, federal government to tighten tax administration to augment revenues, great jobs. Um, OK is 9.24 billion naira for life insurance for public servants. And then we move to the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper. Stop begging West for loans. Ghana president tells African leaders. Buhari seeks U.S. support for $1.9 trillion energy plans. Uh, Nigeria's foreign debt hits $4.06 billion. Ghana seeks uh, $3 billion from IMF. African leaders borrow to fund wasteful ventures. Analyst speaking. We move to the Nigerian News Direct. Oil theft investigation panel. Nati Bax Federal Government laments loss of 16.25 trillion naira in 12 years. Says Nigerians colluding with foreign nationals to steal, sabotage oil resources. And on the front page of the Business Day, FX Gap, that's Forex Gap to boost the Spirit Christmas spend. spend. FX gap to boost the diaspora Christmas spend. And finally, on the front page of the Nation newspaper now, hiccups in PVC distribution. Hiccups in PVC distribution. Uh, all the details on the front page of the Nation newspaper. Kemi. All right. So there are so many, you know, developing stories there, interesting stories there. Uh, we might as well begin with updates on the uh, latest regarding the CBN's uh, monetary policy. Of course, it was a busy day for the Senate. We brought that up uh, earlier during uh, the news, during the program earlier on, uh, where the senators, you know, uh, debated for and against the policy. At the end of the day, they agreed uh, for the withdrawal limits, but asked that CBN should make what they call a moderate um, review of the withdrawal limit. In the meantime, the new Naira notes are to be circulated today. Uh, reports say that um, banks have already received their shares of the new 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira notes, uh, even though the old Naira notes continue to be in circulation, at least between now and um, January ending uh, next year. But, you know, interesting development, you know, so to speak, even as we, th th there appears to be a timeline now uh, that uh, CBN is working with. But um, what is also intriguing at this point now, it, for me anyway, is that um, the bank or the new notes are not sufficient, according to some accounts. Mm -hmm. Some banks are saying in their own branch, they have like just a million Naira, you know, total sum of the new notes, and how can that serve 
their customers. Mm -hmm. And there's also the narrative that we understand uh, CBN may be driving at in saying that they don't even want many of these new Naira notes in circulation mm -hmm. because they are still all out for the uh, cashless drive, <clears throat> I, I beg your pardon, which they have been, you know, talking to Nigerians about. So, you know, there's a lot to look forward to during the course of today. We'll see how it pans out or what do you think? Absolutely, we see how things pan out. Recall that uh, the CBN has said that 85% of uh, the monies, uh, you know, in circulation, it's outside, you know, the vaults of the bank. And so it is going to do, the bank, the CBN is going to do everything it can to mop up that and to ensure that it does not happen again. And so also deepen the drive for cashless policy as it stands. So what the banks have to do now, they have to be creative in managing whatever comes to them as it stands. Yes, customers will come, complain. Uh, we have been seeing that if you go to the banks, we see a lot of persons coming to lay complaints and all of it. Now you're saying another matter on the ground. You are limited in terms of the amount of monies, especially with the redesigned Naira notes being brought to you. So you have to look at creative ways of managing your resources. As it has been reported in the papers this morning, they are redesigning their ATM machines because uh, the, the, the lowest denomination, a lot of persons will not be seeing the 1,000 Naira notes as they were, Expect. I, I, as they expected uh, in coming days. All in the drive to deepen uh, the CBN cashless uh, policy. Uh, but at the Senate, uh, we saw that uh, it doesn't seem to settle with a lot of the senators in the Red Chamber yesterday. Because when uh, the Deputy Senate President of Yomo Agege was, you know, taking, was, you know, driving the conversation at uh, the Red Chamber, when he said, the eyes, the nays, it's just a few <laughs> of the eyes that we had. He didn't even wait for the nays to, to, to speak. Punch, punch the account was even very and interesting. And he just, you know, very... smashed the gavel. <laughs> and so, um, so, but then they went, he went ahead to say that uh, they are going to have an oversight function overseeing how the CBN goes about driving this uh, limits of withdrawals and all of it to see how you know it settles with a lot of Nigerians because it, it, it just hits a lot of persons in the, you know and it will take a while for it to settle with a lot of Nigerians whatever is going to happen we just need to understand now that the CBN is serious with its decision and so we need to begin to adjust as it stands. Right. Although there's the POS persons who are saying that um, there is, who we heard there is going to be a waiver for, and the CBN says they are going to also tinker at some point. They are saying they wouldn't, you know, go hard on it, but they are going to look at it to know how to, whether reduce or increase a bit the, the cash limits as it stands. Right. So let's see what happens in the coming days. Especially as the House of Representatives will also have their own uh, debate. We understand that um, the CBN Governor, Gordon Emifile, is scheduled to appear uh, before the lawmakers today. And um, before that, the you know intrigues at the Senate yesterday uh, also appeared interesting to me because when you look at the back and forth, uh, the debate from the senators, some of them were even from the ruling, from the you know governing party. That's that's the APC. Many of them all you know relied on the rationale that most of their constituents are people in the rural areas, mm -hmm. and naturally, as fine as the argument was, they agreed indeed that that it was it was a good policy that the CBN was trying to to drive. Mm -hmm. But the timing, this close to the election, you know, why now? Why now? And um, how much education has gone? Into uh, um, into you know this kind of policy that is sure to unsettle people at first. Eventually, yes, we may get around it, but you know the issue of how much um, education dissemination of information has you know been circulated across people, mm -hmm. even to those in the rural areas. How much do people know uh, about about this? Then fine, it may just look so obscure at the moment. I'm sure eventually we will get a way around it. But you know the, the senators, you know gave some good arguments. Uh, yes, on, they did. On and, and I believe that the CBN governor responded when he said when he went to see the president in Daura, like we mentioned yesterday, that there are about they have super agents, you know, across the seven hundred and seventy four local government area, about one point four million of them. Now, talking about, you know, um, creating awareness for a lot of persons. We see people going to the banks. I was at the bank some days ago, and I saw people coming to ask questions. 
you know. So I think the CBN left that to commercial banks to handle. You know, you know your customers. You know the people you want to be a part of the system. You go meet them and speak to them. But, to, but to, circulation, to now, circulation now is the concern. We have millions. We have you know millions of Nigerians who are on unbanked. We Absolutely. can we can we can say that, but people are saying, what about those in the rural areas? How many people? How That's many people can saying. even walk into banks? How many banks How are many even within close are range? Within close range for me that to is go, where go the in. super agents come in to and bridge how well, that gap. Two hundred so, uh, two hundred million plus Nigerians. How many super agents we do, do we have? have? Yeah, do, we, they we said have. one point four million. All right, of them to two hundred to two hundred million. So seven hundred and seventy four local yeah, government. Yeah, yeah, Yes, you're right. CPN might make a good, a good, um, you know, argument. argument at this time now. But, you know, the reality is on the ground. Okay, fine. If they, if they say the super agents are on ground, okay, so let's see. Let's see people how they going. perform. Let's see how they perform. Let's see people utilizing their services. Mm -hmm. And um, because January 9 is um, almost here. It's a few weeks away. The Christmas season is, is, is here. So you can imagine the mad rush. And then generally, some some will argue that you know the festivities are dwindling, but you know, you know all all those all those concerns. The basic thing CBN, is the, to address the matter of trust, right. trust in the system. Trust, and all, the, the trust issue is is, is very the paramount. Key issue. So trust the system. Paramount. Okay, if you have parents or family relatives, speak to them about mm. it. We are now the agents of the CBN mm. that will begin to mm. speak to these people. That's what it is. And, another takeaway from the Senate was that you know the CBN is well within its right to yeah. do what it is doing. But, but of course, there was the argument of is man for the law or the law for man. Should we should we should we tweak take care around it or, 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 or so so to speak? All right, we said we'll uh, see how things pan out, uh, especially as the house will be the next uh, you know seat of attraction. Talking about this um, the lingering debate on the new CBN policy.